Have you ever Googled a company and you see they have one star and one review? What does that do in your brain? Do you trust them? Are they any good? Are they working in the basement in their jammies? Today we're going to talk about how to get good customer reviews. And make sure to stay to the end because I'm going to give you a way in two days to become the most findable business online. These days, everyone has an opinion. And before, maybe you had a chance to rectify it, but now you find out after the fact that maybe that person was less than happy. And sometimes they look perfectly happy, and then they go home and flame about whatever it is that bothered them. There was a hair in my salad, or the customer service was slow, or whatever. So it just depends on what that person is feeling that day, that moment, and the two of you collided. And unfortunately, that can end up in a negative review. So what's interesting is I'm looking here at some interesting data. And one of the data I found from Inc. Magazine says that 40 positive customer experiences to undo the damage of one single negative review. 40. Now here's the problem is we never ask for positive reviews, right? That's the standard we set for ourselves. No matter what business you're in, not just restaurants, whether you have a consulting agency, whether you a food-based industry, everyone has an opinion about the service that you have given them. So a couple of things to think about. First of all, when I Google your name in Google results, so let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna to go to Google. Now I'm going to Google my company name. I'm gonna put Findability University. You can put yours in, your name. Okay, so what you're seeing here is sort of a snapshot. Now I'm logged in to my account, so I am seeing um, my own personalized results. So one thing I want you to think about doing is going into what we call incognito mode. Now what that is, is you're gonna, I'm in Chrome right now, so follow my screen here. We're gonna come up and I'm gonna go to File and New Incognito Window. It's right under File in Chrome. Now you see this little spy guy, which was actually the inspiration for Marketing Espionage, my latest book. Okay, now I'm incognito mode. Also, incognito mode, by the way, is a great place to search for airline tickets and concert tickets. Here's why. When you go and look for airline tickets or concert tickets, they cookie you. They know you were there before. So you see a great seat for the right price or a great ticket in the front row, and you go back the next day and they're not there, or they're twice as expensive because they've seen you've been there before. Go into incognito if you want to ever do any kind of searches that you think they are going to watch you and then maybe bump up the price. Now, outside of that, we want to go into incognito so we can see how people from the outside looking in are seeing your brand. And I often find it's like really hard to see the label when you're inside the bottle. I'm a red bottle fan myself, but you, it's hard for us because we live in this bubble and oftentimes it's hard to get out of our bubble. So take a look at what we do here. So I'm gonna go into incognito mode first, then I'm gonna go ahead and from this screen, I'm gonna to go to Google. Okay, now I'm on Google and I'm gonna Google my company name, Findability University. Okay, so what you're seeing here is of course my search results, but over on the side, you're gonna see that I have my uh, Google local business listing. You can get to this listing at google.com slash business. You want to make sure, number one, that you claim your local account. Very important. You're going to get, you might get positive reviews, you might get negative reviews, but if you don't have that, your business claimed, you're not going to be able to go in there and really pat it. So let me show you what I've done with my Google local listing. So first of all, I put Findability University dash empowering businesses to dominate online. So I've added my tagline to the actual company name. It's also a great place to add a keyword. So keep your company name dash and then add one or two keyword phrases that are gonna make that look findable as well as great for your brand. Now the number two thing I want you to look at is click on the photos. Now, some of these look a bit ghetto, <laughs> meaning that it's a Google Earth picture and the guy drove by and took a picture of the back of the building with the dump truck. I've seen it, or a dumpster. So sometimes you'll see images here that are old, that don't relate to the business anymore. It's a train wreck. So what I've done, you'll see here, is I've loaded up all of my pictures with actual clients and their testimonials embedded right on top of the image. You'll see here that I got a quote from these two ladies 
I've got another quote where she's holding her diploma. So one thing I found that works really, really well is just create your own diploma. So I have a findability uh, accelerate graduate diploma that everyone gets at the end of our training. And we always get a picture with a diploma, which is just great. I always get a team photo. You'll see all of these are team shots. So people can get a real sense of what it's like to work with me before they ever pick up the phone. So those are the images in your Google local listing. Very important. How do I get reviews is one of the number one questions I get from businesses. Here's the deal. If you don't ask for positive reviews, all that will ever show up is negative reviews. So we want to remember that we've got to ask people or incentivize people to leave positive reviews because that's the expectation. Now here's the thing I want to caution you about buying positive reviews. You don't want to ever go in and say, hey, here's 20 bucks and I'll throw a positive review on your website. Don't ever buy those services. Google has a very specific algorithm for Google business. Meaning if you get 25 reviews in one day, you went to your mom and your dad and your cousin and your dog, you asked everyone to post a review for you. Google sees that as non-normal algorithmic activity and will immediately discount those. So it's very important when you're thinking about asking for reviews, if you have a restaurant, you could do a little table tent that says post a review and tag it and then you can have a free cup of coffee or right as they come in, you can say review us on Yelp when they come in and also your waitress or your person who is dealing with that customer once they say man i just love the food here i love the service you make sure that those people are trained to say hey if you have a minute we would love a positive review on google or on yelp or wherever it is that you need the review but the number one problem is that we don't ask so take a look at how this affects my decision making so i just googled best taco restaurants now, it knows that I'm in Salt Lake City right now. That's where I do my, my video work. Now, if I scroll down, I am now gonna make a split second decision on who I'm going to assign my stomach space to. It's very important. I don't wanna make a mistake. So the first one is Chili Tepin, which is a taco restaurant. They have 1,500 four and a half star reviews. That's a lot. So they've done a very specific effort to get those reviews. So maybe I'll have to go in and check out what they're doing. But that is ridiculous, 1,500 four and a half star reviews. So that's definitely gonna get my stomach space. Then we look at Rio Grande Cafe. They have 4.3 stars and they're at 615 reviews. Underneath that is 4.7 for Street Tacos, SLC, and that gets 178 reviews. I don't know about you, but I'm going for the 1,500 reviews. This is how our head works. Whoever gets the most amount of reviews that shows up in Google gets our business. This is a serious buying indicator. So you can't just let the negative Nellies rule your online review world. You've got to get out there, ask for positive reviews. Don't just wait for the negative reviews to show up. They're a big deal. They will make a decision between negative reviews and positive reviews, and that will directly impact your business. So ask for reviews, especially the positive ones. I hope you're getting massive value out of these videos. I know I love making them. Hey, if you have a frustration, you're not really seeing results online, or you just wanna chat with me, go ahead and post Let's Chat with your email address in the comments below, and I watch those comments. So if you have questions, frustrations, put them down there and I will go in and check those and make sure I give you an answer. And finally, if you're looking for a shortcut to be the most findable business online, we have a workcation where we work hard and we play hard. We have one coming up in October and we have one every single quarter. So make sure to visit our website, findability.com retreat, and you'll get all the details of our latest upcoming events. Join us.